Ni hao, it is our last full day in Shanghai and it is pouring rain and we don't have an umbrella and we are trying to get to Shin Tian Di for lunch but we're not sure whether to run for the metro or maybe hail a cab or we can Uber it. So we ordered ourselves an Uber and uh, it's supposed to be driving. I guess we'll just stand out in the rain until it gets here. We're now in Shintendi. We had a good Uber ride and uh, we're now looking for the restaurant that um, our friend recommended. This is actually the same plaza we had dinner last night, but we're going to go to a different uh, restaurant. lunch and it was very delicious. Now we are just kind of roaming around the Shintian Di style mall and a lot of the stores aren't open or they're open but they're not, they're, no one's in there. I don't know, maybe people are out for lunch. But we're just kind of browsing around. I wanted to pick up like at least one piece of clothing from Shanghai, whether it's like a jacket or a, like a staple piece kind of. Um, but I haven't really found anything I like yet. I really like the aesthetics of this um, shop here. It is a coffee shop uh, and uh, I really like the white marble and the gold accents. always go to that park. So we're just at a mall nearby, just browsing around. I think this is my kind of mall. It has a Sephora that I can't afford. <laughs> So this wasn't a very exciting vlog today. Um, it was our last full day in Shanghai, but we didn't really do anything super exciting. We just kind of um, hung around and went to different places and shopped a little bit. Now we are back home. We are just having a little bit of a snack before we start packing up our stuff so we don't have to do it tomorrow. And it was pouring rain out the entire day and it was not enjoyable. We took the metro um, back to our place, but uh, instead of taking a we decided we would just walk it and uh, it turned out okay I mean we didn't get super soaked but it was still um, raining a little bit tomorrow is our last half a day in Shanghai um, the morning we're gonna go visit uh, the Bose grandpa for the last time while we're here and um, then we are I don't know what we're doing by then but our flight isn't until I think like 5 50 p.m. so we'll probably head to the airport a little mid-afternoon <music> Ni hao, it is our last day in Shanghai. We are just getting some breakfast. I don't know where the bow went. Um, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go visit his grandpa for the last time while we're here. And then we are gonna head to the airport. We're having breakfast at our usual place and we have uh, Shalongbao and Xiaopao, also having milk that I brought from home. The elevators at this hospital are so busy. There's a huge line. So we are in the process of climbing 19 floors. <laughs> Only 10 more to go. We are on the 14th floor. We made it. We are on the 19th floor. That was quite a quite a trek up here. I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> we 
are making our way from the hospital to the Jing'an temple. Not to go into the temple, we're just catching the metro there. It is now uh, one o'clock. We're having lunch at a place near our place. We actually pass by it um, every day that we've been here and we've only decided to try it now. Um, we just spent the last hour or so perusing some markets because I bought a t-shirt for my dad. Um, and also a couple of magnets because we're all about collecting magnets from the places that we visit. But now we are getting some lunch and then we have to finish packing and then head to the airport. We're done having lunch and now we are walking back to our place which is very very close to where we had lunch it's actually just around the corner and uh, we're going to finish packing and then be on our way this is the building we're staying at okay we are now in the metro and we're heading to the maglev train so we are taking the metro to maglev train and then the maglev train to Pudong International Airport. We have to get to the maglev train between 3 and 3.45 because that is when it uh, operates at maximum speed or close there. So we're pretty excited because it's going to go over 400 kilometers per hour as opposed to when we were coming it was only going about 300. So this is my airport outfit. Um, leather jacket is from Zara. I'm just wearing also a Zara sweater, a skirt, some Nike running shoes and uh, I have pajamas to change into once I get on the plane and also jeans to change into before we land because it's a bit chilly in um, Toronto. We are now at the Maglev um, platform and we just have to basically check in. We have our ticket and uh, then we're off. before we wait at the gate. We are home and I'm so excited to be home. I'm exhausted, but yeah, it's not sleepy. So I'm kind of hungry. I think we might get something to eat. It is kind of late, like 10 o'clock at night on Friday, but uh, that's where we're at. So I think I might also unpack a little bit. My mom's gonna come over tomorrow and uh, hang out because I haven't seen her in a couple weeks. And uh, I'm so excited to sleep in my own bed. It is so comforting to me to be able to sleep in my own bed when I get home and just be surrounded with my own things. Um, even though vacations are really fun and uh, staying at hotels are really fun, but there's nothing like coming home. So that is uh, where we're at right now. I'll probably do another update later, if not tomorrow. Hey, my shirt kind of matches my accent well. Anyway, just got home. I basically spent most of the morning in bed and uh, catching up on shows, kind of in and out of sleep. I desperately wanted to just stay in bed all day long. It was just too cozy to leave. <laughs> I missed my pillows, I missed my duvet, I missed my wall fireplace. I just did not want to get out of bed. But I did, I took a shower. No, actually I didn't take a shower. I washed my face, I put my hair up, I put some lipstick on, and 
here we go. So I went out, um, my mom came over and uh, I gave her some of the things that um, we brought back for her. Then I went on a hunt for Halloween candy because today is Halloween. Happy Halloween, by the way. Um, this is a little post-trip vlog that I'm going to stick at the end of my actual trip vlog. But um, there was literally no candy to be bought anywhere. I finally found one place, actually Costco, and uh, they only had one kind. I'll show you guys which kind it was, but it basically has like starbursts in it and Skittles. It's that brand of candy. Um, not my favorite. I would have preferred chocolate because that is what I would have preferred to munch on once all the kids have come and gone and we still have like bunches of candy left. But regardless, I got some. It is about five o'clock right now. This is our first time in this house, in this neighborhood. So I have no idea how many kids come by. I have no idea when they start coming by, but it's a bit chilly out. I am not looking forward to opening and closing the door all night long. Anyway, I am feeling much better after a morning of mostly sleeping. Um, I'm not feeling so gross and jet lagged and nauseous essentially. Um, I kind of feel that way as soon as I get off an airplane the first few hours afterwards, especially after a really long flight, I just feel off and gross, but I don't feel that way anymore. I am going to make myself something to eat and uh, put away or organize some of the things that I brought back from my trip. I will do a haul. Um, it'll probably go up whenever I get to do it. Um, and yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching my video and my trip vlogs if you have, you know, caught all of them. I will link a playlist below if you have not seen all of them or any of them and you want to check out some that you find interesting. And uh, I had a wonderful time in Shanghai and in Tokyo. Um, I would definitely go back again and I enjoyed every minute in both places. Great weather, great food. Anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!